iniquity is not less men. And the iniquity has so increased that you have changed iniquity to civilization. Imagine in this generation we are that the Bible has seen it long ago and call it iniquity. But to you, sister, you are calling it civilization. That is why today, instead of wearing trousers on your waist, you wear it on your bottom. Call it low waist. Not knowing that that is a mix that the devil wants to steal your life. Yes. Many of you today, you adapt to the signs of the devil. Yes. You draw cross. You draw tattoo. You call it tattoo. Not knowing that that is the way that the devil wants to destroy you. Brethren, the Bible says iniquity will abound. Sister, do you see iniquity? And you call iniquity civilization. That thing you call civilization. The Bible says it is iniquity. iniquity. Imagine you today, homosexual, everywhere, homosexual, everywhere, lesbianism. Woman no longer love a man. You love your fellow woman. Man no longer love a, a woman. He love a fellow man. You begin to commit iniquity and you call it computer age. You call it civilization. That is iniquity. You have to repent. Give your life to Jesus Christ. It is the appointed time. There is no time. The end time is at hand. The end time is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Sister, you don't have to laugh over it. You don't have to make jest of it. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Nobody knows when he will come. Nobody will know the hour. Brother, have you given your life to Jesus? Yes. This is the appointed time yes. that you may repent. Yes. Jesus yes. Christ loves you. Yes. That is why he died on the cross. Yes. The Bible said that the thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus have come that he may give you life. Brother, God have come that you may have life. Sister, the purpose Jesus came and died is that you may have life. Yes. He did not come for you to go to church alone. Never. He come that you may have life. Yes. Jesus Christ wants to give you life. What is life? Life is not this thing you are living. The Bible says in the book of First John, chapter 5, he said, anybody that does not have the Son of God in him does not have life. Let me ask you a question. This thing you are living, is it life? The life of immorality, the life of lying, the life of cheating, the life of backbiting. You and your neighbor in the house, you cannot agree together. You and your brother, you cannot agree together. You and your neighbors, on and not the worker in the same way. You call yourself a child of God. Even though you go to church, you speak in tongue. You speak alaba and okoko. It did not reach your mouth. Why the Bible say iniquity will abide? Repent today because Jesus is coming again. Repent today because Jesus is coming again. Nobody knows when he will come. Nobody knows the hour. Since that thing you are doing now, is it the will of God? Where are you coming out today? Many of you come out from your boyfriend's house. Many of you come from your girlfriend house oh. after you have heard the gospel after you are listening to message from the radio from the television you don't want to repent